Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some DIYs. And lately, I've been super into cow print, so I'm going to be doing cow print DIYs. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this first DIY, I'm going to be using some black and white fabric paint and a brush. And I'm also going to be using these star stickers only because I couldn't find like stencils. And yeah, I love that they come in all sorts of different sizes. So I have like the medium, the big, and the small. And I'm going to be using the medium and the small ones and tracing a couple of out and painting them white. Okay, so here's when I finished painting the stars and I actually had to do three layers of paint that way you can stand out because the paint on denim just washes out but it looks really nice with even one layer of paint but I just wanted to do three so it can stand out a little bit more. And these are just regular jeans, you guys. I took them to this lady that knows how to sew and she just added the cow print so she basically cut around the knee area and I told her to make them like cowbell style with cow print um, material. They came out really pretty and then now I'm just going to be doing the cow print on the stars. So basically on the back of the pants, I'm going to be doing the same process. I'm just going to be using the medium sized star and the small one. I'm going to be spreading them out and pinning them in. Okay, so for this next day, I'm going to be using these white tennis shoes and I actually got these off of Walmart for $5 and I wish they had a size 7 but I had to get 8 because they didn't have my size but that's okay. So basically what I'm going to be doing is just black dots cow print style and I'm super excited to show you. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just drawing them in with a pencil that way you won't do any mistakes with the paint. Of course, it's a lot easier to go in and erase with pencil than go in and erase with paint. So for the shapes, if you have no idea on how to do it, definitely just go online and search up cow print and then they come out like shapes, kind of like oval, circular style. And now that they are all drawn in, I'm going to be going in with some black paint and painting them in. Okay, so I just finished this one up and it looks like this. I even did some in the back over here like that. Now I'm just going to be doing this one. I did end up putting more dots just because... I felt like it needed more, but that's the difference. This is one done and the other one not. And it does look glossy because it's still drying up, but it should dry up matte, hopefully. Now I'm gonna do this one. All right, so the next day why is actually something for my dog. I'm going to be doing a doggy bandana, super cute cow print style. I'm just going to be doing a triangle and then you wanna get your dog and kind of measure it around her collar and get a collar that you just don't want anymore. Maybe it's too old and you can always just dress it up by doing little DIYs like this. So I'm actually using some fabric glue and I'm gluing it down, but you can also sew it in if you want it to be a little bit more sustainable. And I'm also gluing the edges in forward, that way it won't look all crooked and stuff. And yeah, that's it, super easy to do. So for this next DIY, you're going to be needing a shirt and you're also going to be needing some fabric paint. I have these couple of ones. I'm going to be using green, white, and black. 
And then I'm also going to be using some cardin. I'm going to be drawing the state of Texas. That's where I'm from. So I'm going to draw it and then cut it out. And then I'm going to be tracing it here, painting it white and doing a cow print. And then I'm going to do a little cactus next to it. And before you start to paint, make sure you add some cardin underneath your shirt, like in the middle, between the top and the back section. Because if you start painting, what's going to happen if you add layer after layer, the paint's actually going to go through and touch the back of the shirt. And you don't want that, so just make sure you add that cardin. So I ended up getting really into this DIY and I forgot to film the rest but to walk you through basically what I did was just get my cardboard, I cut up a piece of cacti and then just traced it, painted it green, did black dots, traced it white and then did cow print style on the state of Texas and then with the actual little paint bottle I did the lettering that we can come out a little bit neater instead of doing it with a brush. Yeah, that's it. Super easy to do as well. Alright, so this is not a DIY, but I did get this done, and if you have the Cricut machine, you can totally do it yourself. So it just says red, white, and moo, perfect for 4th of July. And then the same girl, which is my sister-in-law's friend, did this for me, and it's also cow print in the front, and it just has my name in the back. Super cute! Okay, you guys, so another thing that I made is this top knot. So basically, it's a headband with this big um ball right here it looks really cute really um like western style usually it's mostly used for babies but it looks really cute on like when you dress up western style and then like throw a top knot especially if it's like animal print it looks really cute so basically i didn't film it but what i did was get cow print fabric i turned it inside out and then so that way it won't look crooked on the edges i folded it in and used my hot glue and then i just made basically a strip let me show you with the one i have over here so it looks like this a really long strip you kind of want to measure it out to see how long you want it across your head depends how big your head is and then what you want to do is just kind of like fold it in like this and like hot glue it so that way it can have like a straight edge and then you are going to tie it and my tie is actually right here and then I grabbed a bun holder I'm gonna insert a picture that way you guys can see what I'm talking about but I just grabbed extra fabric and I wrapped it around and then hot glued it to the front and that's it that's super easy to make and yeah um, looks really cute on also.